Hello and welcome back to the Stationary Dev. Today, just trying to uh, film a quick paper review. Um, kind of just a everyday uh, paper that uh, I use at least. And this one's interesting because it's a printer paper. Um, so if you're interested, that's probably super loud. If you're interested in uh, sort of a good copy paper that's very fountain pen friendly, um, this is one of the ones that comes up often, and so uh, I have a, a ream of it here. This is the HP Premium 32-pound uh, copy paper. And uh, as you've seen, 32 pounds, 100 brightness. This is the standard 8.5 by 11 inches, uh, so letter size, and then you get 500 sheets. These usually, these, uh, this ream usually goes for around 19 to 20 dollars on Amazon for 500 sheets so pretty decent deal they also have a 28 pound uh, paper that I have not tried uh, so maybe that's a future video uh, there but this is the 32 pounds so I'm gonna grab a sheet of this so we're gonna put it through a couple paces all right so the first thing you notice, I think, when you pick up this paper is it's quite heavy. Um, that is a defining characteristic of it. It's still papery. It still works well in a uh, coffee machine. You can do pretty much everything you can do with it. But it is a heavy print uh, paper. It's not quite like index card thick, um, but it is a pretty thick piece of paper. Um, but, as you'll see, that's sort of what gives it the stuff that we like with it being usable with fountain pens and whatnot. Uh, it is very smooth. Um, very, very, very smooth, which I, I think that's what kind of helps it as well. So, the first thing we're just going to try is put it under pretty uh, wet fountain pen test. This is my Mayora Impronte. Uh, usually writes pretty wet, so we have the um, HP uh, Premium 32 pound copy paper. And this is just a fountain pen, so uh, Um, pen. Uh, this is actually a fine, uh, just a steel nib, and the ink in it is actually Roshizuku Tsuyu Kusa. All right. Um, another fountain pen, this one will be probably less wet than that one, but just another good one. This is just a Platinum 3776. This one happens to be the Oshino. And this is a medium, actually. Uh, interesting to compare it to that fine on the Mayora. Mayora. And this one's also a Roshizuku. Inaho. Um, all right. A couple more options we can test. Here's a uh, Retro 51 Tornado. This will be a rollerball. Um, oh, might be running out of ink in it. and might not be the best test for it. In fact, let me grab a better roller ball over here. If I can find one. Let's see what we want to test it with. Let's see if this one writes. Sure enough, so this is just a Uniball Vision Elite. This is black-red ink. 
There we go, that's much more rollerballing. Um, I don't know how they do their sizing on their tips. It doesn't say, so we'll just say rollerball. But it looks like a, maybe a point seven at least. Then of course we have ballpoint. I'm just gonna run a quick jet uh, jet stream. And what else do we want to do? <clears throat> I have a felt tip. This one is a fine liner. So this is a tool fine liner. And a pencil. This one is black wing pearl. It's a pretty soft. Works well. Not too smooth for a pencil or anything, I don't think. Um, and then let's test it with a little bit of ink. So, I just randomly grabbed something that I thought would sheen, or should sheen. This is Dimine Pansy, which is one of my favorite purples. It's it's really similar to, like, a Lamy Dark Lilac, if you're looking for a Dark Lilac substitute. This one is the closest that I've I've been able to find. And it usually has some decent sheen. So there's that one. One ink that I know absolutely will sheen, Dime Mine Majestic Blue. I'll go ahead and boo one of these. I absolutely know this one should sheen. Whether or not it does, we'll see. It's up to the paper. And just for the sake of test, here's some Bay State Blue. I'm going to actually put it through the paces here. Some base state blue. Alright, now let's talk. So, like I said, super smooth in terms of writing. All the fountain pens wrote, felt well on it. Like I said, of course, all the standard stuff feels good. Um, it's not too smooth for a pencil. I think you still can get some feedback from the pencil. Let's see how it did in terms of uh, bleed through or anything. So getting a little closer up on here. And that's about where it is. Like I said, the that Mayora is very, very wet fountain pen. So that gives it a good, decent test. You can see maybe, yeah, a little bit of feathering, like fuzzy edges. I don't know if I'd call it feathering, but fuzziness on the edges there. And that's been about my experience so far. So it's not perfect. It's not going to be Tamoya River paper. But something that's less uh, wet, like the Platinum, you can see it actually looks pretty good. It has less of that fuzziness, and it works decent enough. Of course, you have the uh, Rollerball. Actually, it was less, less fuzzy than I thought it would be. Jetstream did good, fine liner did good, the pencil is fine. We get a little bit of sheen at the top of this pansy, um, but other than that, you can see a little bit of shading. You get your normal sheen from uh, Majestic Blue, but even that's kind of toned down, so it is more absorbent, I guess. Um, so you're not, like I said, it's, don't go into it expecting Tamoy River paper, and then you have the base state blue. It's actually holding up pretty good. It's still drying, but holding up pretty good. So 
Some things, observations, like I said, it has a little bit of fuzziness. You're not gonna get a ton of sheen out of it. You know, don't expect to, it's copy paper. Don't expect to get a ton of sheen. Um, not a lot of shading as well. Usually the uh, Inoho here would be shading a whole bunch. So you're not gonna get a bunch of shading. But for copy paper, let me turn this over and we can really see. Um, nothing really came through. The only thing at the top there, you can kind of see that really, really wet fountain pen start to dot through. I don't think it totally bled, but you can start to see this show through. But everything else, if I kind of zoom out here, I mean, everything else is pretty much contained. There's no bleed through or anything like that. It's thick enough where it doesn't really show through, doesn't really bleed through. Like I said, only with that super wet Mayor did it do anything. Even with the swatches, nothing came through on the swatches. Besides the paper wrinkling, you might not even be able to tell that there were swatches on the other side. The base state blue is the only thing that's bleeding. Um, and just a little couple dots of bleeding right there went on super heavy, but that's kind of not the use case for this paper anyways. Other than that, it works, like I said, I've never had a problem with it in the printer, so it works well in my printer. Um, and it's good if I want to print something out or my wife wants to print something out to, to write notes on or something that you can we can annotate or even just for a quick scratch piece of paper that I know won't be turn into a huge mess with fountain pens. I think this is a good option, especially, I mean, 500 sheets for 20 bucks. Like I said, I haven't tested the 28 uh, pound paper. Um, so this one is technically 120 GSM or 32 pound paper. Uh, I guess I need to test next the 28 and see if it's any worse than this or if it's about the same. Um, of course, it's going to be a little lighter weight, a little thinner um, because this is pretty thick paper. That's the only thing I would say is um, it is a little thicker. But all in all, pretty decent um, for standard printer paper. I would recommend it, at least if you try it out, if you're looking for something to print out a bunch of notes on for school or something like that, I think this is a good option because like I said, there's no bleed through. I've never had really a pen bleed through. This one even surprised me, the Mayor coming through a little bit on the title there, um, surprised me a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty solid. You're just not gonna get the shading or the or the sheen, the shading or the sheen that you usually get on, on high quality or nice fountain pen paper. Um, other than that, that about does it for this uh, paper review. Please make sure if you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe. Um, We're doing pretty good uh, as far as the channel, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and releasing some regular content. So. Uh, stick around, look out for videos coming out, and being liked and subscribed will help you get some updates on when those videos are coming out. Till next time, uh, please leave a comment if you have any comments or suggestions on videos or papers that I should check out. What's your favorite kind of go-to everyday uh, cheap, you know, paper that you can take notes on or, you know, print notes on and then use? You can let me know down in the comments. So, till next time, everybody take care.